Hi, my name is Ramon Nero. Are you already using a Mega T 3.0? If not, you really should. The latest version of the translation program in Mega T includes a lot of exciting improvements. A major block of improvements is related to working with tags. Watch this video to see how powerful tag handling in a Mega T has just become. The first group of changes relates to working with tags within assignment. In this example, I have a sample file and a translation memory. The segments in the translation memory don't have any tags, while the new source tags does include them. This means that I need to insert them manually, and the new functions make it very easy. First of all, I can move between the tags with a single keystroke when I press Ctrl plus arrow left or right. In this sense, tags are processed as words. This makes it easier to delete them or move through a string of tags. The insert source text command became insert missing source text. As the name implies, it now only adds the text that are currently missing in the segment. Previously, it just inserted all the text as a single string even if some of those tags were present in the translation. For example, I have four tags in the source text, but none in the target. When I press Control plus Shift plus T, I get all four missing tags. But if I already have two tags, the next time I press the shortcut, I get just the two ta the two missing tags. like this. And if just one tag is missing, only that tag is inserted the next time I press the shortcut. Here we go. Better yet, a new command makes this whole process even more effective. The insert next missing tag command inserts just the next missing tag. This option is available under the edit menu and the right-click menu. With this command, I can go through the entire segment from left to right and insert each missing tag one after another. Like this. And the best of all, I can assign a shortcut to it. For example, I assign this function to Control plus Shift plus Arrow down. Here we go. The second group of changes relates to working with tags in general. When you hover a cursor over a tag, a tooltip displays showing you what this tag represents. The explanation may not be exactly straightforward, as in this case, but it's better than nothing. Omega T now includes an option to validate tags before creating the target files. This option is located in the Tag Validation dialog and is called Do Not Allow Creating Translated Documents with Tag Issues. For example, I deleted four, several tags in the segment and added one extra tag at the next one. When I try to save the translated documents, tag validation window appears. 
it has been also improved. The incorrect tags are highlighted. For those missing, the program says missing. For those edited incorrectly, the program says extraneous. I have to fix the issues before attempting to save the target files again. From here, I can navigate to the segment, correct the tag problem, and return to this window. Note that whenever you delete a tag on purpose, you'll have to disable this checkbox temporarily in order to be able to create the translated documents. A mega T can also check the tags when you close each segment. To do so, go to the Editing Behavior dialog and enable the Validate tags when leaving a segment checkbox. For instance, I have several missing tags in this segment. As soon as I close it, a mega T gives me an error. Since this option is pretty much similar to do not allow creating translated documents with tag issues, you might want to disable it so that it doesn't trigger a tag error each time you go through the segment. You don't have to worry about tags at this point anyway, since you'll be checking them for the entire project when you create the translated documents. The Editing Behavior dialog also includes a new option called Allow Tag Editing. This option makes it possible to protect tags. If it's enabled, a mega T displays the old behavior when it was very easy to damage a tag by deleting a slash or another character in a tag. For example, I can delete a part of this tag, or this one. But if I disable this checkbox, this will no longer be an issue. No matter how hard I try, I can't delete any part of a tag. I can only delete the entire tag. Like this. Well, the combination of the new functions is a great improvement. Working the tags is easier than ever, and the likelihood of tag errors is lower than ever. It's a big step forward. Hats off to the Omega T development team. Thank you for your time.